All right, let's get started on a new project in Unity. I've already opened a new project, but to do that you go to File, New Project, and it'll ask you to name it. And I'm going to skip this for now, but you'll see the list of packages that you can import. And the one that I have done for this one is the scripts package, in case I, used to, in case I need to use any um, camera scripts. So I'm going to cancel out of that now. And the, uh, the default object in the hierarchy is a main camera, and that's here. And in the scene view, you can see what direction it's aimed. And hopefully you've gone over the Unity video tutorials so that you'll know what I'm talking about here. But basically, the, um, these vector arrows will let you move objects around in the scene view, in the X, Y, and Z axes. And the camera is actually pointed in the direction that I want it to right now. Uh, we want the game to have the positive X value to the right, positive Y up. And down here we see the camera preview. There's nothing else in this world, so let's add something. I'm going to add a cube to represent the player's ship. You can do that under Game Object, Create Other, and select any object in this list. You can also do it from this hierarchy menu over here. Create Cube. Okay, so you can see it put it near my camera. Um, I'm going to change the name of the cube to Ship. And I'm going to change its location. I'm going to put it at the origin. Okay, so my scene view, I'm going to back up a little bit, using the arrows to move around. Scroll in, zooms in. Okay, so we have the camera now, it can see this cube, and you'll see in the right, on, in the inspector, the projection of the camera is set to perspective, and I don't want that, that'll give a 3D look and we want to make a 2D shooter here for this video series. So I'm going to click on orthographic and you'll see how the bars change. So I'll need a backup here so you can see what that looks like. Size, it's really big. So imagine looking down a long box. That's what the camera is going to see. So there will be no three-dimensional effects here. And there's no reason to go off to a thousand. So I want everything to happen inside a very small plane uh, in the XY plane where Z equals zero. So we'll do everything there. So the camera, I'm going to put it at zero and zero. And I guess we'll leave it back there at minus 10. Well, if it's far as 10, then we better go 15 to get everything in the, the plane here. All right. So, uh, if I were to click on the negative Z axis here, it will show us the world from that perspective, which is where the camera sees things. So that's kind of how I want to do it. And for now, I'm just going to leave it at uh, this 3D angle. So we want to add a directional light now, and that will make our ship show up. Now this blue is here because that's just the default background color when nothing is in the world. So. We'll change that later to a dark color, black or something, and add a, some star effect so it looks like we're moving as we play the game. So we can go to Game Object, Create Other, and Directional Light, and it puts these numbers in here. And I'm just going to put it at the origin to begin with so I can find it quickly. I'm going to move it back here, and when I select the camera now, we're shining a white light from the directional light. That's this one here. So the main camera now can see the cube, which has a white light shining on it. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to do for this. The next thing I want to do is set up how the mouse uh, is going to move and how that will move the ship. So we'll get into some JavaScripting to do that. And see you next video.